after blowing his mind on that potent hashish. Oh. Earthman flows to uh, toward the monastery upon the Medes with a light step. Hmm? Glorified donkey path. <laughs> Winds on and on. Staying high on the plateau, mm -hmm. Earthman hikes for two hours. Uh, never encounters another human. Earthman, the pathfinder. Well, he is relieved to witness his pilgrimage destination with his own eyes. Pretty stoned he is at this point, yeah. Uh, because this absolutely confirms that he is on the right path from the get-go, you know, uh, walking along the true path all day. <sighs> because this is backcountry sponge, no trail signs, no other travelers. Uh, well, to celebrate this climactic moment, Earthman <laughs> reclines in the tall grass and communes with pure nature. Mm -hmm. oh. He watches the swirling dervish clouds. Oh, like dragons. Oh, elephants. Oh, hi, Ganesh. Um, transcends time and space. Yeah. Um, he leans against the pine tree. Mm hmm Withdraws a flute from his flute arrow quiver. Mm, the bamboo feels warm in his hands, like the pine sap drifting down the trees here. Oh, amber sap oozes. Well, uh, an hour of nothingness. Mm, yeah. Mm -hmm. Earth now. Mm. Rest his eyes. Mm. Mm -hmm. He intensely searches for the, a reedy intonation on his lovely Indian bamboo flute to harmonize with the bees. Among millions of blazing blue buttercups, Mm. Overwhelmed with the sexual yearning for Cleopatra, his private empress of the Dodecanesis, he unzips his pants. Mm. Poor boy cannot help himself as he masturbates while reimagining me sucking him to orgasm. Mm. <laughs> Under the warm blankets this morning. Yeah, got had to get him. Giddy up in his step for a while. Cock surges with lust until <laughs> Ooh. he comes for me in the pine hills. <laughs> Limp. Everything. Well, what? The wind abruptly kicks up, uh, so Earthman must time shift and zip up his hiking shorts. Uh, dazed, he refocuses his eyes uh, to navigate the dangerous switchback descent. Well, Earthman, prime health, yeah. His young thighs feel mildly burning with pleasure <laughs> from the long pilgrimage, yeah. And his nature orgasm. Beneath the wind swept. Fine. Monastery lookout. Strange though. Uh, Earthman sees no boats in the bay below. Or no humans walking around the vast monastery grounds. Huh? Uh, Manolis gave uh, him uh, uh, such a contrasting picture of Moni Ponomitis. Uh, uh, and Rose, yeah, he talked about the grand festival days. Mm -hmm. Monastery overflowing with pilgrims, the magnificent singing in the chapel, the papas, vestments, the icons, hundreds staying overnight in those guest houses. 
So many sailors who didn't drown. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Donation box. Oh, stuffed with drachmas, candles, incense, uh, baptisms. Mm -hmm. Fish. Fresh fish from, by the thousands. Grilled over charcoal coals right there on the flagstone patio. <clears throat> Greek villagers, villagers from other islands, they stay for days, yeah, weeks, because they love the rocky hills, uh, Turquoise Bay, sacred icons, uh -huh. and feeling like Christos himself walks amongst them. Oh, but when the feast days finish, yeah, lonely. Somber impression. Go ghost monastery? Seems abandoned. Uh, curiously, uh, Earthman cruises down to sea level through the landscape thick with fennel, mandrake root, locusts, fennel. Oh my god, yeah. Uh, he climbs over a wooden gate mm -hmm. and onto the. Um, Flagstone promenade. Nobody's around. Hmm. Buildings are in excellent repair. Uh, he peers into a dusty window of a small shop. Tins of citadines, biscuits, and jars of honey. Uh, mm. He's hungry. Mm. Drinks water from his goatskin flagon. Mm -hmm. Dusts off the window uh, to a bedroom. Wow. Uh, neatly folded blankets are placed at the foot of every bed. Oh, yeah. Uh, but the door is locked. And uh, the small grocery is locked, too. What to do? Uh, puzzled. Alone. Uh, on the vast flagstone promenade. Uh, well, he wraps the... Medieval clapper on the main monastery door, massive. Uh, no answer though. Mm -mm. Uh, Abbot is away in Rhodes uh, for a few days on church business. Uh, Orthodox, eternal silence. <laughs> Earthman chuckles at his so serious sacred pilgrimage. Uh, standing alone in an abandoned, like, Zorba the Greek movie set. The shoot's over for the day. Everybody's gone home. It's just Earthman standing there. Well, <laughs> probing reminiscences. Leo's fingers going crazy. Yeah, my fingers. My goddess heart has been won. And the Afghan village truly begun. I mean, we're walking out of Lindos. Let's remember where we are in the story, not just completely. Earthman's doing his thing to the monastery. I'm at home entertaining myself. Remember? <laughs> uh, as we walked out of Lindos that night, and he took my hand for the first time. <sighs> My heart has been won. Our Afghan vision truly begun. Lindos fades behind us. <laughs> but, yeah, it's like 3 a.m. There's no cars out here. Nobody, it's just not even a car to hitchhike. Well, uh oh, Earthman, uh, he's a survivor and a nature boy. He, he reconnoitres a small uh, whitewashed chapel. And uh, usually in the islands, they leave them unlocked. <laughs> There's no thieves here. Um, so we go inside and we make our first bed together. Love angels together. Um, Mm. 
Only now do we dare to feel exhausted. Yeah. Uh, one sleeping bag on the floor, another one for our blanket. Um, we snuggle into this in this sacred hideaway until until we 